Now to the lawmakers that approved that stimulus funding in the first place and questions about a House member suspected of inserting language into Waxman Markey, the ACES Act, to benefit green banks. And that language would include benefiting a green bank that he, his family, and a campaign donor were tied to financially. The Washington Times reports that Colorado Democrat Ed Perlmutter did just that before the floor vote on ACES. Clean Skies' Dan Goldstein has been closely following the story. He joins us now with an update. Dan, this is getting a little bit convoluted here. Yeah, good morning, Tyler. Here's what we know independently this morning. Uh, I talked with several Hill sources last night, and they told me, indeed, this language designed to promote green banking, as you said, and to encourage private loans for energy efficiency projects is in the bill. And more importantly, though, it was included as part of a 300-page, what they call a, basically a document drop, in a section uh, called the Manager's Amendment, which meant it's basically done with the chairman's consent. Now, these 300 pages weren't added until the very last minute before the vote on June 26. In fact, my Hill sources told me that the manager's amendment didn't get into the hands of the staffers whose job it is to actually read the bill until 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, just to catch you up, like you said, the Washington Times reported yesterday that Pearl, uh, Perlmutter is an investor in one of these green banks, namely San Francisco-based New Resource Bank, along with his wife and his father, and a campaign contributor. Perlmutter himself had invested up as much as $50,000 into the bank in a trust fund for his kids, that's according to the paper. Now, according to this, also Perlmutter's campaign uh, contributor, Daniel Johans, had also invested in New Resource Bank as well, uh, according to the paper as well. Now, a spokesman for Perlmutter hasn't spoken to us, to us directly, but did one of the staffers did tell the paper that the language inserted in the ACES Act wasn't specific to New Resource and only encouraged government to boost conservation projects using, quote, privately financed loan. Now, that staff, uh, staffer, spokeswoman Leslie Oliver, told the Times that the provision was, quote, equal opportunity for all banks, saying that, quote, any bank can use this or take advantage of it, period. So, uh, Tyler, basically green banking might be new, but it's starting to also become a big business. Many of these banks are advertising quarter point rate cuts in auto loans if you buy a hybrid vehicle. And other banks are also owning, uh, offering uh, certificates of deposit that take the savings and invest it in solar energy. Uh, in fact, the trade publication American Banker is advertising a green banking study from Informer Research saying that 57% of consumers are interested in these so-called green banks and 43% of them said they would switch to a bank that they perceive to be green. So the question Republicans are probably going to be asking uh, with a new resource bank being one of the biggest of these green banks is there a conflict of interest here? Tyler? Yeah, sounds like, Dan, this story is not going away anytime soon. Thank you very much.